and foremost here, um, obviously the document's up here. I'm going to leave this up here as you guys work today, even though it's, it's on the Google Doc that you have. The goal today is to do two different types, to change word form into numerical and numerical into words. Okay? Um, we're going we're gonna to start with the first one, where we're going to start with a number and we're going to go to words. We're just going to say them out loud okay? um, to get some more practice with this. And then we'll practice a couple where we try them out where you're actually typing them in the Word document. And I'll bring that document back up here in a minute. But I want to talk about two specifically. Okay? Here's one that I want to talk about. Yes. You better be fast. Fast. You should know that by now. Okay. Except for that one day it was gone. Okay, so we'll, we'll start with this one, okay? All right, um, on this particular problem, um, we're going to write it into word form. Now let's just say it out loud. So Eric, what do you got for the part before the decimal? 13. 13. Okay, good. And you're going to start there, so okay. So 13. Oh, oops, should spell it right. Okay, 13. And then you said the word and. You're absolutely correct, because yeah. what does the word and mean? Decimal. Means the decimal. Okay, so we got 13 and. Now, the part after the decimal, the part back here. 48,000. Okay, exactly. You just say the number and then you say what spot it ended in, right? I don't care if there's zeros. You say whatever number comes after the decimal as a normal number. And so you're right, you said 48 thousands. Thousands. Because when you, when you finish that number, you always have to write where it ended, and it ended in the thousands spot. That's a big deal, writing what spot it ended in. Okay, it's got to have this. I don't care what this number is. This number could be 400 billion, whatever it is. But you have to, you have to mark what it ends in. So does okay. billions come up to millions? Yeah, so it goes millions and billions. I'm not going to go with that. Either. My numbers are really small today. Okay? All right. So again, it's the same way you just missed. We were talking about this number here. Um, it's 13 and, then when you get to the and part, because that's your decimal, you do have to write the word and, yep. then you just say the number after the decimal is normal, and that was just 48. You can ignore the zero, but you just say 48, and then you always have to write the spot you ended. Okay, make sense? Okay, let's do another one. I just ate my funny bone. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. 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 Ouch. Okay. Now. You were obsessed with those things now. Well, obviously, mine's good too. Okay. Like All right. That actually is actually. All right. Next one here. This is one we haven't worked on yet. Okay. It's it's got it's got a decimal. Okay. But there's a difference in how you have to write this. You do not have to start this thing with saying zero and. Oh. You don't. You don't have to say zero. If there's no number in front of the decimal, so it's a zero, you don't have to say it. Okay, that's, that's pretty nice. All we have to do is say the number after and see what spot it ends in. You don't have to write zero and. The trick is to know if your number is to be written with the number, is if you look at the number in front of the decimal, if there's one there, they'll have the word and. If there's no and, there's no number in front of the decimal. Okay, so let's say that number out loud. So Sam, can you say this number out loud? Say it again. Four thousand. Four thousand eight hundred. Nine hundred. Or nine hundred eighty-two. Eighty-two. Yep. And then so eighty-two. Did I say ten thousands after that? Yeah. And then you always write the the number that ended. So in mine, it ended. I was gonna say it, but it didn't sound like it, yep. it was gonna make sense. When I said yeah, it. I know. It's really weird. Ten thousandths. So even though this number was. 4,982, you still have to say the number that it ended in. I know that seems really odd and strange, but notice, there's no zero and up front. You don't have to put it when there's no number up front. You have to be careful of those. Okay, are we good so far? Okay, now here comes the more challenging part. You guys are pretty good with changing it from like numbers to words. I'm going to give you the words now, and I want the number. We didn't practice a lot of these. I think we only did one of these yesterday. So, so let's let's practice this today, okay? Um, and then what we'll do is we'll, um, uh, once we have these numbers written, then I want to see kind of what you came up with. So I'm going to get rid of this chart here, and I'll put the chart back up there. In fact, um, 
If you want, you can even pull up your Google Doc if you want. You don't need to. I'm, I'm going to have you, you're just writing the number, so if you want to just, um, uh, um, I'll have you kind of walk up here and uh, write whatever number you think it is. Okay? That actually what we could do is I could give you a marker and you could sit on your own marker board. Eh. And I'll just have you, I'll just have you say it. Okay, here we go. Okay, first one. First one. I like the digits that you think it is. The, so digits, the, number, the form. number form. The numbers that you think. Okay. I'm gonna type it on here and then say it to you when you okay. want me to. So if you want to type it in the Google Docs, that's fine. If you want a piece of paper and a pencil, that's fine too. I just want to see what your number is. So looks like everyone's gonna to go to the Google Docs, so I'll open that up. Do your own Google Doc. Don't do the one that we shared, okay? So open up your own Google Doc, the one that you did yesterday. Okay, and once you have it tight, like numerical form, I want to see it. Yeah, I just want the digits. So you should be just typing some numbers. If my computer would load, yeah, it happens. Okay. I'm going to write that as you guys are writing it or typing it. I'll write it back over here in case I get cut off by the picture when it's on the board. I started this computer about 10 times yesterday. Did you take off last semester? Did you take off last semester? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have it, sir? up on the board. So this is the document I shared with you guys yesterday. Let's see if I can make this any bigger. All right. So, Sam, you still have this shared with you, right? Okay, this document. You want to copy and paste your answer in? Well, if you kind of do one at a time, we'll talk about it. So, Eric Leader's off. I just want to see Sam's right now. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you guys are pretty good with that. So, copy and paste. There you go. All right, perfect. So, okay. So let's start with this. Two and, so I agree with that. So you have two and, two and. Okay, now, 13, so you have 13 in there. Now, here's the bad news. You knew that it had to go to 100 thousandths, right? So you knew it had to go boom, 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 there. Had in there, right? Yeah. You agreed with that. So there should be what? One, two, three, four, five numbers. Okay? Five numbers. And you do have five numbers. Now, the problem is you put your 13 in the wrong spot. Ooh. The 13 has, one has an end in the 100,000 mm. spot. So, your only difference was you want to just move the 13 to there. So, back. The, whatever the last number that I say, 
That has to be in this spot. Does that make sense? sense? Yeah, like that. Okay, does that make sense? So not bad. So you at least knew how many numbers it was. It was just you put it in the wrong spot. So not, not a big deal. Okay, here we go. Let's do another one. And Eric, I'm going to call you for this one. Okay? All right. So. Uh, I'll erase mine. So no, I'm no, no, no. You can leave it. Leave it there. Please. Yeah. Leave it. Yeah. Um, all right. So we're going to go. How many zeros do I have? Three. Three. 64. And. Twenty-five thousand. Okay, so Eric, I'm going to be asking for yours. So don't type it in there right now. So don't type it in there right now. But uh, type it in your own document and say you can do the same for yours. And I'll I'll walk around and I'll let you um, just try it out. But I want I want to see this number in numerical form. Thousands, you said, right? Thousands. Yep, it's right on the board. I have it typed in there. I'll even in this document. I'll the even, one in the red, right? Yep, the one in red. So type in your own document, and then I'll ask you to plug it in here in a minute. Hmm. Is there anything else in here? The M A. Please tell me you did not just find another one. Oh God, no! The luck. Damn. What about the man? <laughs> it's still good though. There's my last nice one. Alright, I do want another one, remember? Yeah, it's right up here. You're crazy. <laughs> I, think yeah. I have it, don't, don't worry about it. Alright, so Eric, do you want to pop yours in there? Post your number in there. I know, Sam, I have yours. Don't worry about it. I, I know what your number was that you typed. So, no. uh, yeah, type it up in here. Right up in here. Oh. Right where my cursor was, right there. Okay. Boom. Okay, all right, good. So let's talk about it. So, 64 and, so I agree with that. 64 and, then we have to write. 25, and the 25 has to end in the thousand spot. So thousands is right here. So 25 has to end here. So the five had to end there in the thousands, and then you just fill in the zeros. Okay? I think, I think Sam, you had a couple extra decimals in there. You went, or a couple zeros. Zeros, yeah. yeah. So just make sure the last number ends in that right spot. Yep. So that's why I'm giving you the chart, so you can kind of like get a so sense. So I was a little bit close. Yeah, you were close. So definitely closer than that first one. So. All right, not bad. Okay, do we feel comfortable with the types of problems we have here? Yes. Okay, someone? No, I'll kind of walk around and we'll be out. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to send a document to you. It already has problems typed on it. Okay, there's going to be a couple words, there's going to be a couple in number form. Okay, you, you'll have instructions that will say write these in word form, write these in numerical form. So, um, now, when I send a document to you, here's what I'm going to make sure, and let me, uh, let me highlight this. When I send the document to you, here's what I'd like you to do. Okay? Right when you open up the document, let me make this smaller. Right when you open up the document, here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to go up here to the word file, and let me zoom in on that. I want you to go up here to the word file. Right when you open up the document I'm about to send you, and I want you to make a copy of it. Does that make sense? The reason why is if you don't make a copy, you can see, right? you can see I can see everything that you're typing in right away. Um, I want you to make your own copy, and then you can share it with me later. Does that make sense? Nope. Okay, that way everyone has their own version, um, and you can type in wherever you want. You can't. You're not getting distracted by other people typing. Okay, so make sure you make the copy before you start, and it's under the file drop down. Okay. All right, I'm going to send the document to you right now. This is your homework for today. It's pretty straightforward. It's ten problems. Some are in words, um, some are in numbers, and you just go to the, go to the other form. So let me let me share this to you, and remember, make a copy. So do you need our bundle that, that they're not shared with? No, I will not need that one. Nope. That was just for your purposes, so.
Okay, I just shared it with you. Um, it, it should be a new document coming. I'll even pop it up here just so you can see it. Let me get rid of the one that we are currently on. Let's make this a lot smaller. Okay, I'll take this off. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this one. All right, so here's the document you should be getting in your email right now, correct? So we, we can put our names on this one now? No, no, no. You need to make a copy first. So go up here to File. Yeah, I mean once we make a copy. Yeah, once you make a copy, then boom, you can fill in your name, and you can start filling in all the answers that you want. And then I'll just ask to uh, have you share it with me when you're finally done. You can just share it with me personally. Okay? Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Good morning. So it's due Friday? This is due tomorrow, yeah. Due Friday. So pretty easy. I think you'll, pro you'll probably get it done in class here. Is everything due on Friday? You know, we've had a couple pieces where it's due Monday. Oh, jeez. Stop the camera here. Oh